Good morning guys, it is 7.30am, we are in Taksim Square in Istanbul and it is the 10th of November which is a very significant day in the Turkish calendar because this is the day Mustafa Kemal Ataturk passed away. So we're heading over to the Dolmabahce Palace which is where he actually passed away. So we're going to go down there, there's a bit of a ceremony and uh, yeah it's meant to be uh, quite, quite a spectacle. So Mustafa Kemal was born in 1881 and we actually came across him where he got his first big break which was as a field marshal in 1915 at the Battle of Gallipoli which is where we came across him because as Australians Gallipoli is a very important day in our calendar uh, also very significant in World War One as well so that's where we first came across him there were some really touching quotes by him at uh, the graves there which is something we'll definitely never forget now he became a very important figure in Turkey because of things such as Kemalism, which is nationalism here, um, as well as secularism, which is, uh, you know, at times maybe controversial here. Maybe that's one of the main controversies of him. But overall, we are looking forward to going to the Dolmabahce Palace because it's probably one of the most underrated sites here in Istanbul. It is so beautiful inside. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get inside today, but um, to pay tribute to Ataturk, it's, uh, it's very funny because it sort of feels like we've you know almost met him because he, his pictures are everywhere there's photos of him there's artworks of him his stickers on cars his signature on shirts and scooters it, it's he you can't go anywhere in turkey without seeing him so one of the most revered figures i think we have ever come across so really looking forward to uh paying tribute to kemal ataturk now the other thing i should say is why was i saying mustafa kemal well Ataturk translates to pretty much sort of the father of Turkey. So towards the end of his life, the Turkish parliament um, granted him, I believe, uh, the name Ataturk. So it's Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, which is Mustafa Kemal, father of Turkey, I believe. Hopefully I'm translating that right. But um, yes, we'll get to the Dolmabahce Palace now. We just got in here, it's about 8.30 and we've already been given a free badge each that everyone's got a badge on, they're giving out water, there's heaps yeah. of people coming in so we're heading to where all the crowd's heading to and yeah. It's just so funny because it's uh, early in the morning here and everyone's out and about and normally it's not like that, normally it's a slow start so uh, yeah you can feel that something special is happening today.
That was just an incredible experience. Um, I don't even know where to start. Firstly, the fact we even got to go into the Dolmabacho Palace. Uh, usually it's quite a high entry fee, I remember from last time we were here, but we got to go in for free. We got to get into Ataturk's bedroom. We probably made about five or six live TV shows on uh, Turkish TV because there were camera crew everywhere. I was filming live, reporters everywhere. It's military people in his in his bedroom that we uh, we got into like maybe 15 or 20 minutes before 9:05 a.m., which is where the minutes of silence takes place because that was his time of death. But just incredible uh I'm, I'm really lost for words uh just uh the minute of silence or i think it's two minutes of silence i should say um and just hearing the air horns and the traffic beep and boats beeping and it was just i've never experienced anything like this and uh to be able to get inside the domobacho palace and take photos we were allowed to take photos as well um which we weren't allowed to do when we went in and we paid the first time uh many months ago so yeah just an incredible experience hopefully uh you guys enjoyed that yeah, it was pretty cool after the silence near where the water is. There's all these boats parked out there and they all have the flags. And it's just really flags, incredible yeah. to actually be here. And yeah, yeah. really, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.